Last night I was, I was editing the vlog and completing all that. I had this little bit of a, this runny nose, just an ever so slight, but I've had this streak of, I think it's like 18 months going where I'm feeling pretty awesome. Just a little run down here or there, but nothing really beyond that. So I'm really hitting the, this is the medicine. Spinach. Friday cold outside and a holiday on Monday, the Veterans Day, like a bank holiday. It's feeling pretty slow. I feel like everyone's out of the office today, but I'm gonna try to get a little bit more work done and then uh, move into the night. I have all these thoughts throughout my days and one of the biggest things that keeps reoccurring as a trend is who am I? Am I being authentic? Am I being real? It's a very big thing for me. One of the exercises I do sometimes is I, kind of a mini audit is I'll take out a piece of paper and I'll just start writing everything that comes to me. What, what are the things that I love to do? What are the words that really define who I am? And I start writing and writing and then I start to think of, okay, energetic, uh, fitness, health, social, connector, trend is all these words you start to, to see them all in a list and you see the patterns and if you can put them into little groups you start to really understand who you are and when you understand who you are you can be fully aware and you're not so afraid of being alone or when you are alone you feel stronger even though in my case I'm more extroverted I still need both and when I, I'm not afraid to be alone and actually I'm very confident with being alone. Does that make any sense? Oh, exciting mail! Junk goes right into the garbage and Gregory Barth, MD. <laughs> Think I should open it? Obviously it's not me, I'm not the doctor, but I, there is one in town. I did get invited to a wedding by mistake one time for the same guy a really nice wedding. I should have went. I ended up reaching out to the bride and groom and they, they laughed and they said, oh yeah, that, you should have done it. I don't know. Something, sometimes in life you look back and you wonder, why didn't I do that? That would have been so fun. Wedding crashers. Little change of plans. I got myself hot dates. I'm going to get myself ready and head on over there and we're going to have some dinner. She's right down the block. Whoa, I'm definitely feeling the cold. Can you sense the, the pattern in this vlog of self-exploration and learning new things, adventure, trying to push yourself to become better? I'm feeling it. I'm feeling that so far. That does align with what I believe. <laughs> Crack it so the light comes on. All right, let's go, Erica. I'm sensing I might have a little vlogging issue this winter since it's so dark out, there's not a lot of light anywhere. It's been cold, like I mentioned 604 times already. Back to the words that describe you. I don't know if you've ever really done that exercise, but my recommendation is if you're if you're at a point you're trying to figure out maybe a career or a relationship or you know um, pretty much all those different things in life, and you're really struggling to see where you fit in or what kind of passion I have, all these things that seem to be the trend. If you don't know who you are, that's 
that's a hard part that's really a hard place to come from if you don't really know where you are it's kind of like you're in the car you have the map but you don't really know where you're what road do you want to take it's just they're all roads they're all over the place but if you have a little bit better idea of what you're really passionate about and you try to listen to that inner voice rather than the other voice that takes you on the other path and what you're supposed to do what i'm trying to say is find out who you really are if you don't know and follow those things that fire you up and get you excited because at the end of the day, what's left? We don't want to go through our lives dreading things and have tos and because someone else said we should. That's not, that's not what life's all about. If you're ever in my neighborhood and you have to check out this restaurant we were at tonight, it's one of my favorites. It's not far from where I live, but the coconut curry soup. Every time I go there, I have to have it. It's, it just was a perfect meal for the, for the day. A little bit of tea for this little scratchiness and everything going on here. But now a little editing going on for this crazy Friday night of mine. And then uh, continuing on tomorrow, I think I'm going to start tackling some of my uh, project for No Small November, the garage. It's so cold. I need to get this garage and studio figured out. Ready to roll. Oh, of course, and make sure to subscribe, hit the bell for the notifications. You're not going to want to miss anything coming because there's so many ideas I have, so many experiences and adventures I want to take you on. 